So it's been a while since my last review on Create Studio and so much has changed and improved since then. And for today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the platform once again. We're gonna work on a project that has all the new features if I don't miss any. And before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips, reviews and recommendations. I'm on a standard license, $67 one-time payment license. I'm gonna link it down below for your reference. I am not subscribed to the All Access Pass as of now, so I can actually show to you what you can still get with the standard license. But based on experience, if you have bigger projects, I would advise you to try the monthly plan All Access. And if you think you're not gonna need it, you can pause or cancel anytime. Like what I usually do when I'm only working on smaller projects. Now the very first update I want to show you are the new set of scenes, characters, typography, basically they have added more elements into the platform this is something that you should really look at before purchasing any software make sure they are generous when it comes to updates even though you are on the standard license if we look at the scenes we can see animated infographics and from the characters there are two categories added one is called classy and doodle However, they're under the All Access Pass, so we're going to move on a bit to how we can actually maximize Create Studio, considering we will have the license for a lifetime. Text effects are something I haven't really talked about in my past reviews. First is the whiteboard animation effect, which you can find under your element, text effect, and then click Doodle. You can find several types of hands, human-like hand, 3D, or a cartoon-type hand. So let me apply it onto our video. Aside from that, you can also add some more twists onto your video with blend mode. But in here, we have to add some background. You can either upload or grab something from the media library. Let us take this talk video and use it as a background. So from the blend mode, we can choose whichever looks great or technically whichever blends well with the background. For this, I'm okay with overlay. You can also make use of the mask effect if you want your background to merge with your text. Now the camera movement is something I really really love about Create Studio. I have actually made a video tutorial about it in my Christmas promo video. I'm just gonna link it above. But what I've observed since then is that the control has become much easier. I don't know if it's just me, but I found there was more buffering the first time I used it compared to when I'm using the camera movement feature now. Anyway, I really love this update because it gives emphasis to one scene or object from another. Like for example, in this project, we can start with a scene focused on the text first and then we can zoom it out. To create this effect successfully, you have to click on the camera icon, move the cursor line from the beginning and then make the adjustments through the box over here. You can move or zoom it out then you'll find the camera element on your timeline. This curved icon will allow you to control the animation whether you want it to be just plain linear with power. There were different levels, you just need to explore in it more. Next up is the background remover. This feature has been here for quite some time now, but they have made some more improvements again. It is easier now to adjust the threshold and edge fading. So those are the main features I'd like to highlight and now I'm going to apply all of these onto our current video. So I'm just going to fast forward a little, then we're going to preview all together.
Now that we've finished our demo video, I'd like to point out again that I made it using Create Studio's standard license alone. You can also check out some more videos I have edited using Create Studio in this playlist or on my channel page. If you also want to know more about Create Studio, I'm going to link it down below for your reference. And if you think this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on updates.